Salute to all the Raising Canaan supporters. Welcome back to the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Show, where you'll get the latest in Power Universe and Cinema Breakdowns. So I found an article that a lot of New York guys basically been trying to tell me that the ghost character from Power was based off. I don't believe it is, but I think it's interesting to explore anything to do with Power because that's what y'all love. His nickname was The Ghost, and not even the people he worked with knew that his home was in Rockdale Village, police and prosecutors said. He had the uncanny ability to keep his associates in the dark, no one knew where he lived, what phone number he used, what car he drove. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly said 51-year-old James Wall Corley, who was among 45 people arrested as part of a 15-month investigation by NYPD and the Queens DA office dubbed Operation Southside, Officials said that the 45 people arrested, more than a dozen people were allegedly leaders and members of two separate drug gangs that operated on the south side of Queens. In addition, the investigation resulted in arrests of nearly 30 more people who were charged with various narcotic-related offenses, officials said during news conference at 1 p.m. in the plaza. The cousin of a young man murdered in South Jamaica houses was also swept up in charge with weapons possession, the DA said. Kelly said Corley got his start in Southeast Queens as a member of the Notorious Supreme Team, which operated during the crack epidemic of the 1980s. Corley, who lives in Roxdale Village, allegedly led one drug gang that served customers in the South Jamaica houses, the Baisley houses, Roxdale Village, and other neighborhoods in Southeast Queens, the police commissioner said he was charged with criminal sale of a controlled substance and police allegedly recovered cocaine, 10 vials of common cocaine additive, 45 forged $5 bills and various drug paraphernalia during a search of his residence, authorities said. Two people who authorities contended were members and associates of Corley's crew were amongst those arrested, investigators said. Detective Leonardi from the NYPD's Queens Gang Squad described a coded language, the Supreme Alphabet, allegedly used by Corley Group of Qualified Drug and Guns. Police and prosecutors said member of a second drug game called Southside Blank, which sold to customers in Baisley Gardens and other neighborhoods in Southside, Queens, were also targeted for the Operation Southside investigation. Operation Southside netted 1.5 kilos of cocaine, more than 50 decks of heroin, marijuana, about $70,000, and four handguns, and the two drug gangs grossed more than $15,000 per week police said, prosecutors said. Several drug pressers which remove water or liquid from cocaine to make the brick were also recovered during the investigation, Kelly said. In addition, a cousin of murder victim blank blank was arrested during the investigation and charged with an unrelated weapon possession charge after police said he too was found with a Tech-9 submachine gun. Authorities believe Blank Blank, a cousin of Blank, who was shot and killed in a Southside housing project's march, had planned to use the gun to get revenge on an 18-year-old. After Blank was pulled over for allegedly felling to stop at a stop sign, police contend they found the large gun in the engine of the Nissan Ultima he had been driving, according to the criminal complaint filed by the Queens District Attorney Office. While Corley was not charged in the murder of police officer Brian, generations of police officers will take no small satisfaction that an associate of his killer has been brought to justice, Kelly said. Police believe that with the arrest of Corley, the Supreme Team gang has been dismantled. We think this is the end of them, Ryan said. Now, my personal thoughts on this article one i don't think that ghost was based off this guy um when it's actually a guy who did a lawsuit against 50 cent and power 
And basically this guy was somebody who wrote about his story. He took the story to some people. And then a couple of years later, whatever, whatever, a story come out that he feels is similar to his. And I think I'm going I'm to give y'all a breakdown on that in another video. Let me stay here. Now, when I actually see the picture of him with the Supreme team, he definitely got on a suit. His name is James. His name is the ghost. So I'm not mad at nobody who think it might be. But I'm also going to present y'all somebody else in a later video who basically ended up filing a lawsuit against power. Um, I do think that this guy was an intricate player in the streets of Queens, but I would need to know more than just his nickname was the ghost. Now, what I do, it is another guy who nickname was also ghost. It wasn't the ghost. It was just ghost. And I'll say something else that's true. Every neighborhood, every ghetto, um, every street corner in America around the world got somebody who can fit these descriptions. Now, the only difference is, is these stories are about queens. So you would have to draw um, inspiration from yourself and from the people you were around. Um, y'all can think it's him. I don't mind if y'all do. If you like this Raising Canaan breakdown and looking forward to more videos just like this, Click the like button, the subscribe button, and turn on all the notification bells.